Hi, today I'm going to talk about how to remove the original equipment fan in your laser cutter so that the inline fan in your exhaust system can work better. Hi, welcome to Gray Lightning, my video blog about making things and playing games. And last fall, I bought and received my new Omtech laser cutter. And I've made videos about receiving that machine and setting it up in the shop and about the systems that we set up around the machine. And one of the most important of those systems is the exhaust system, where we had an exterior uh, vent and an inline fan. And I had seen online that if you set up a system like that, you should really remove this standard equipment fan from your machine. But I was hesitant to do that for a couple of reasons. One is because, you know, I'm a maker, I'm not a, a mechanic, so I was a little intimidated by it. I was afraid that um, I would break something if I tried to do it. But the other concern I had was that I might void the warranty from Ohmtech by making such a major change to the machine. So I called Ohmtech and asked them about what I should do. And they told me that if my inline fan was six feet or further from this fan, it probably, this wouldn't interfere with it and I could just go ahead and live with it in the machine. And so I decided to give that a try and see how it worked. But after many months now with it, I made the decision I really had to go ahead and remove the standard fan. One of the reasons I made that decision is I have a project right now where I want to be able to turn off all of the air movement in the case. And Lightburn will let you turn off the air assist, but nothing that I know of lets you turn off this fan. So I wanted complete control over when air was moving through. The other thing is that I just wasn't getting the uh, fume removal that I needed, uh, especially when I cut materials like MDF. It would make a lot of smoke. Um, I would have to leave the lid down for minutes after the cut finished so that the fumes would all clear inside the case. So I knew I wasn't getting the kind of exhaust that I felt I needed. So I went online, I found a video of a machine that was very similar to mine, not identical, but very similar. And it didn't look too intimidating. So yesterday afternoon, with a little bit of help, um, we went ahead and we removed this fan. And I have to tell you, first of all, it's not that scary. I mean, if I can do it, you can do it. Um, I'll show you exactly all the steps we went through. You just need to be methodical and, and it will all work out. The other thing is that it makes a huge difference. I mean, my shop is so much quieter now because the inline fan's actually quite quiet. All of the noise that I was experiencing was coming from this fan right here. And the difference it makes in the fume removal is significant. I mean, I cut MDF, I could open the lid immediately, uh, no smoke was remaining, no smoke came out. Um, it really does make a big difference. So I'm going to show you the steps we went through yesterday to do this. It is an ohm tech. I can't speak for other machines, but I suspect it's quite similar for most Chinese CO2 laser cutters. So I'm going to share with you my experience in this episode. The first thing I did was to move the bed so that I had access to the fan. The best solution for me was to move the bed all the way up to take the honeycomb bed out. And then I removed enough of these knife bars to get access. Then we took off the hose by loosening the hose clamp and pulling it off. This is a close-up of the fan from the outside of the machine and you can see there's this long flange attached to it so that you can attach the hose. There are four metal screws that hold the fan in place from the inside, so you need to take those out. When you remove them, the fan assembly will fall down inside. That assembly is removable through the outside hole. This is how that was wired in, and I just went ahead and cut these wires because I don't intend to put this fan back in at any time. Now it's easy to remove the bolts that are holding this great to the front of the fan. It keeps things from blowing through your exhaust system. And then you turn it over and you remove the flange because you're going to need the flange and the grate when you put it back together. 
So taking a look at what we have, we have two holes here that we can use to put these pieces back in. This is the only step where you really need two pair of hands because somebody has to be on the outside holding on to the nut so that you can screw these bolts in. You open the door on the back of the laser cutter and on this wire channel you start at one end and you pry the front edge up and then the back will pop off and you take that off. It's easy to see which are the two wires that came from the fan so you just grab those and you start to remove them and I found out when I did this that that obviously had gone into the channel first and they had zip tied things together at the opposite end so I cut the wire very close to the zip ties and just pulled it out. Now I'm at the door on the right side and you can see that I've uh, got the cut ends. I have to remove the top of this wire channel. It turned out these wires were easier to uh, remove from the channel and it was easy to trace them back to the places where they connected into the wire block connector. You can just pull that clear plastic cover off of the block connector and each of these have two wires. One is the power coming in and the ground going out from the machine and then it's the two from the fan and those are the ones we want to pull out. So you just loosen those screws and gently pull the wires out and then tighten the screws back down. Then you put that clear plastic cap back on and the top back on the wire channel. The last step is to reattach the hose and this is where it pays to have a pair of small hands. You're going to have to tighten that hose clamp deeper into the machine now because you've removed the fan. Then I ran a test cut and I'm going to show you the before and after results. The camera really doesn't capture the difference in the amount of smoke. Uh, you really only experience that when you open up the machine. But I learned something interesting about the noise issue. I'm going to show you my test cut now with no audio editing. What I learned is the volume is almost the same. It's the pitch of the original fan that's hard to deal with. All in all, I'm really pleased that I tackled this project. It was not difficult and I'm happy with the results. I'm going to share with you all of my ongoing journey with my laser cutter. If you're interested, please subscribe to my channel and please turn on notifications.